Hi, just thought I'd put up a quick video to show how I'm using my Spark Wi-Fi device in my garage. I'm using the device to tell if the garage door is open or closed, to physically open or close the garage door, and also to send a uh, current temperature at the unit back. Uh, my main reason for setting up the uh, Spark was I wanted to be able to tell at night or during the day if my garage door was open or shut. Uh, it's hard to see if it's open from the house and I was always uh, going to bed at night leaving it open. So I eventually wanted to get to the point where I could have a text message sent to me, say at 10 o'clock at night, if the uh, garage door was still open. Here you can see the uh, general setup, got the Spark in a pink lunchbox container, uh, Apple uh, power supply uh, powering it, and I got the Spark with the UFL aerial connector. Uh, the coverage in the garage wasn't as good as it could have been. That was a couple of bucks from uh, eBay, and I just plugs right in, works really well. I have no problems with uh, Wi-Fi coverage down there now. Just panning out a bit, you can uh, see the magnetic reed switch, which is uh, connected back to the uh, Spark Wi-Fi unit. Okay, zooming into a close-up of the board, it's a bit easier to see. Um, you can see a lot of wires plugged into the board, but um, I'll discuss them more in turn. First up, the magnetic reed switch, uh, that's powered uh, through the bottom of the breadboard. I've run 3.3 volts from the uh, spark into the uh, bottom rail. And so those red and white wires uh, are the uh, power and ground for the uh, reed switch. The yellow wire coming back in goes into uh, uh, D0 on the spark and that's the uh, signal wire from the magnetic reed switch which determines if the garage door is open or shut. I've got a magnet uh, placed on the garage door and when that gets close to the reed switch it closes the circuit and shows the door is shut. And here's what it looks like on my iPhone. Uh, bottom right D0 shows high. Once the magnet uh, comes near to the reed switch as the garage door closes it activates the reed switch to read low and my garage door is shut. So setting all that up proved to be uh, quite straightforward. So I thought the next thing I'd try and do was actually open and shut the garage door using my iPhone. Uh, to that end I pulled apart the garage door remote and ended up wiring a transistor uh, left and right legs across the, one of the switches on the remote and the middle leg goes back to the A0 uh, output on the Spark Wi-Fi. And although it's hard to see here, the uh, white ground wire goes from the uh, ground on the garage door remote into the ground on the Spark breadboard. So with A0 on the uh, Tinker app, set to digital right, uh, selecting high, sends a voltage through the uh, middle leg of the transistor which uh, opens up the transistor and uh, grounds the uh, the garage door remote switch and uh, opens the garage door and uh, pushing low again stops the voltage going and uh, closes the circuit on the garage door remote it's not ideal um, but until I get a bit of software that does that uh, very rapidly that's how it's working for now the Tinker app itself is great for uh, testing out the functionality on the breadboard of the Spark but um, it's also a bit buggy, uh, it tends to reset itself quite often so I have to set up all these uh, outputs and inputs uh, all over again and um, like I say with the uh, low and high voltages being sent that would be ideally done through a bit of software sending a, a quick voltage to activate the garage door. Uh, my brother-in-law is working on some software to do that at the moment and hopefully we'll get that up and running soon and I'll paste a link when that's going uh, into the description below. And just one last thing to show quickly, I incorporated a temperature sensor onto the board. It's a TMP36 sensor and uh, like a transistor it has a left and right leg for power and ground and a middle leg which takes the uh, signal, an analog signal from the uh, unit to A0 on the uh, Spark board and uh, you can also see wide between the A0 input and the uh, ground is a 0.01 microfarad capacitor and its purpose is just to uh, reduce signal noise by evening out the uh, signal from the uh, temperature unit 
and I'm no electronics expert, just got to know how to do this from the uh, Spark Fun documentation part of the website, with a include a link below. And uh, that uh, unit outputs an analog figure, which then uh, gets displayed on my iPhone. I have to then multiply it by 3.3, divide by 4095, and subtract about 0 0.6 to get a uh, temperature in uh, degrees Celsius. Again, a bit of software would make this whole process uh, a bit more simpler, and hopefully that's to come. Uh, and here on the Tinker app, you can see the uh, analog read on A2. It's hard to read, but it's showing 865, which equates to a temperature of about 11 degrees Celsius. Uh, pretty cold here today. And just one thing I did forget to mention, uh, top left of the breadboard you'll see a resistor. Uh, that sits between the uh, voltage wire going to the garage door remote and the input onto the uh, spark unit itself. Its purpose is just to prevent the uh, garage door remote sending back uh, uh, too high a voltage to the uh, breadboard and frying something on the breadboard. That's all that does. Um, well, I hope this video has been useful. Uh, I couldn't find much online when I tried to set up my Spark. Uh, there's a lot of very technical jargon out there, but not anything very simple and straightforward. And I hope this will uh, do that. Thanks for watching.